unit here, it's put the ends of the breaker overnight. Um, they've reset it, it's run fine. Apparently it does it intermittently. Um, not very often, though. it's been over a month ago since we've done the last time, but it does do it. Anyway, so we're looking for reasons for that. Uh, it's pulling 14 amps. I think this always has been a bit uneven, if I remember rightly. It didn't, didn't always make ice evenly. Um, I think we moved the ice bag control over. Um, I think it used to over ice on one side and the other, so maybe there's something in that distributors. Not quite right. But that's been, it's been like it from when we installed it. It's a second hand tank. So that one's got one, two, three. That one's fully, fully iced up, and I think that's almost the arc pipe coming out. We might have a bit of ice on on one of them because they do tend these the ones do tend to ice out of the tank. Slightly that screw's falling out there. That screw should be holding that in place. Anyway, I think we can turn the cooling on, get the milk a bit colder. While we have a look at the compressor. I didn't want to turn the compressor off if we had no ice in there because the most important thing is getting the milk cold even if I've got to sit here for a bit.
the 80s on and see what this switch trips at and see what it's running at pressure wise now. Receiver valve 
bow was that size, but it was also shrouded. They had a, they had a shroud over that stem, and the, it was sort of level with the, where the cap went on. So you needed something that was deep enough to go inside. That used to do those. But it's handy because you can you can wind that in, and if you, if you shut it in too far, you can quickly open it again. Whereas the ratchet, you've got to flick the little lever. So uh, anyway, I, I do that off camera because I need all my wits about me to do that. And we'll see what pressure this fits at. If it's a bit near where we are, we might try washing that out because there's not a lot of airflow. But the main reason for the lack of airflow is all the fins have rotted and folded over. So uh, I think next year, in the spring, we're looking at replacing, get a new unit to go on there because that compressor's weak. We can then put that compressor in the shed as a spare. fuse box here. We've got chiller one, chiller two, tank one, tank two, and tank two, yeah, chiller tank two. Um, 
So we've got Chiller 1 and, one and 2 are 25 um, C, C type Hager and then Tank 2 Chiller is only a C20 so it is very near to what that thing can pull um, so really they probably want a C25 in there which I think when we put the other tank in I got a friend of mine that was probably nearly 20 years ago uh, when we put that original one in uh, well not the original the tanks changed since but the, conden the compressors are the same condensing units are the same and I, w I would expect it as the 25 amp um, breakers so I would say they probably want to put a 25 in there even even if that's not the issue that isn't it's not really big enough you know because it, it's uh, I forget what the thing is but you know if it's a 20 amp break when it'll take four times 20 amps for half a second before it trips that's only 80 amps Whereas the 25 would take 100 amps, if you see what I mean, for half a second. Uh, yeah. So it could just be that. But that that's run cap was weak anyway, so that was that one really changing.